Hey, hey, hey. Check out what Laura the Loser is wearing today. Dude, how many times do I have to tell you not to judge a book by its cover? Okay, well, I can tell you everything there is to know about her just by looking at her outfit. It screams I'm a dork, Dude. loud and proud. Just leave her alone. Uh, she's in my history class, and she's really smart. And she's kind of cute. Ew. Dude, I seriously question you sometimes. You okay up there? Yeah, I'm fine. You barely even know her. Who cares if she's in your history class? You know? How about I go introduce myself? No. Yeah. No. I'm gonna just say hi, and uh, I'll show you that everything I said about her is completely justified. Dude, just go to class. Oh my goodness. I got, I got five minutes. Hey, Laura. Oh. Nice outfit you got on. Where'd you get it? Your grandma's great. Excuse me? Yeah, Laura. Just excuse him, okay? He's psycho. He belongs in a psych ward. Let's go. Come on. Oh, oh! Stay. My grandma's brave! You know, that is actually really, really funny. So she's got a sense of humor. I'll give her that. Yeah, you must be really good at your job. I'm sorry, but... Well, aren't clowns supposed to make people laugh? You're really killing it, dude. Keep it up. You know, you could really make a career out of that one day. Thanks. Dude, you just got owned! See, this is why you should listen to me, right? You shouldn't be judging people before you get to know them. Or then this happens. Whatever. I'm going to class. I'll catch you later. No way. She's smart, funny, cute, and she reads Demon Slayer? Wait. This is a limited edition one, too. I gotta get this back to her. Whoa, man. What's up with you? Why the long face? You wouldn't understand. Try me. Come on. I know something's up. Spill it. Okay. So, yesterday, after you were done getting obliterated by Laura... Alright, we're still on that. Yeah, we are. It was fun. Okay. Anyways, I noticed she didn't pick her book back up, so I went to her house to give it to her, and I kind of asked her out. Hey. Oh. Um, Derek, right? Yeah. Okay, look. Sebastian's jokes earlier were really funny and all, but I don't need you guys bothering me at home, too. I don't know. Yeah, that's not what I'm here about. You know, I'm really sorry about what happened earlier. Sebastian is kind of a jerk. So did she, like, lock you in her room or something? Hey, you still got both your kidneys? Yeah. Your temperature. All right, thank goodness. It seems normal. I, I don't know, dude. She could have poisoned you with some freaky-deaky dork poison thing. I don't know. I'm actually here to give you this. You found my manga! Yeah, uh, <laughs> you left it behind after seriously owning Sebastian. <laughs> I thought I left it on the bus and was never gonna see it again. Ah, that'd be tragic. I know that's a limited edition copy. Wait, you read Demon Slayer too? Yeah, of course I do. I mean, Tanjiro's kind of my guy. He's empathetic. That's how I want to be. Okay, now, how is that possible when you're best friends with Sebastian? Shocker, right? But I still hope he learns. Well, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Dude, just forget about her. She's a loser. Okay, dude, she's not a loser. And stop judging her, okay? I already told you this. And she didn't kidnap me, okay? Would you want to hang out sometime? You know, get to know each other? Are you asking me out on a date? Yeah, I guess I am. Okay, um, are you sure? Because I guess kind of implies that you're not sure. So are you sure you want to ask me out on a date? The only thing I'm not sure about is whether or not you're going to say yes. <sighs> Derek, unfortunately, your intuition's kind of on point here. I'm going to have to decline. Oh, and then when I, sorry. You know, I might have been a little salty when she clapped back at me yesterday, but things could not have worked out better. If you thought she owned me, dude, she absolutely wrecked you. That's karma for you. I mean, why does this have to happen to me? I wasn't even mean to her. You were. I, I was trying to be nice and give her book back, and then she rejects me? I mean, she the reason she gave me didn't even make sense. What'd she say? You seem sweet, but... If I went on a date with you, you'd just fall in love with me, so have a good day. I, 
What just happened? Wow. I mean, seriously, the audacity of a loser like her to say that? What's gotten into dorks like her nowadays? Must be something in the water. Anyways, look, I'll just head over to her place and I'll give her a piece of my mind. No, you're not doing anything, okay? <sighs> These guys don't even lock the doors and I'm the clown? Makes sense. I think I really like him, Mom. I really think you should tell him, sweetie. It's not like the relationship could go anywhere. I don't even know if I'm going to be alive two months from now. Leukemia has a funny way of making things unpredictable like that. Please don't say that. Dr. Moore really believes in you. I believe in you. You're a strong girl. You're gonna make it. I'm not, Mom. And it's okay. It's just... I don't know why he had to come into my life right now when I'm running out of time. Come here. We're gonna be fine, I promise. It's gonna be okay. Who would have thought? Who knows how much time she has left? We gotta do something. Here goes nothing. You're the last person I expected to see here. Laura, I'm here to apologize about the way I treated you. I know it was messed up. I judged you before I even got to know you, but I honestly think you're a great girl. And so does Derek. He really likes you. I'm gonna clear the air out with you right now. I noticed your door was unlocked. I let myself in and I heard what you and your mother were saying. Excuse me? Are you insane? I know everything. And I'm so sorry to hear about your cancer. Are you? Are you really? Because the other day you just tried to humiliate me. And now you came in and invaded my privacy. And, and it was wrong of me to do, and I wish I could take it all back. But I know it's too late for that. You like Derek, right? All I'm saying is I think you should give him a chance. Time may not be on your side, but you need to live out your last few days to their fullest while you got him. Yeah, thanks. Well, I'm not going to take some advice from a jerk like you. Look, that's fair. But my mother died when I was 10 years old from cancer. And the one thing she made sure to do was to make sure she lived out the rest of her life with no regrets. She did more in her last few days than most people do in a lifetime. And when she was on the hospital bed, seeing her go out happy and fulfilled is the only thing that brought me comfort at night. The only thing that kept me from drowning. I'm sorry. I had no idea. I thought you were just some empty-headed jerk, but it turns out you're an emotionally complicated jerk. Deserved, all right? I mean, it's hard not to get bitter when something like that happens. And I know that there's an excuse the way I treated you, and I'm sorry. But you need to tell Derek the way you feel. I know he'll understand as long as you are, you're fully transparent. I was supposed to meet him at the park today, but you, you should go. I already pushed him away. He's probably given up on me by now. That's what I wanted. He hasn't. Look, he's there now. Go. Go. Stay out of my house. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Oh, Laura, sorry. Uh, I'll, I'm leaving. No, 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 please, please stay. 
Okay. I was actually looking for you. I just wanted to apologize for how weird I've been acting. It hasn't been you. Um, I've just been pushing people away. I'm afraid of people getting close because um, I'm not going to be here very much longer. But, uh, I don't understand. <laughs> um, I have cancer. Uh, stage four leukemia, actually, and uh, it's not getting any better. So when you asked me out, I got scared because I can't imagine getting close to somebody and then, then having to go through me dying, you know? So I turned you down. Look, I'm so sorry, Laura. I never would have expected that, but thinking back on it, it kind of makes sense. I know you're in a really tough spot, so I want to be there for you in any way possible. Any way you want. Thanks. That means a lot. Yeah. Funny enough, the only reason I changed my mind and came out here was Sebastian. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, he came over to my house and gave me this weird pep talk. He told me about his mom and he told me I need to live life to the fullest and he's right. And Right now, I think, for me, that might have to do with you. Well, that's a shocker, but at least for once he was right. So let's not waste any time. Will you go on that date with me? Oh, okay, but like, you don't have to feel pressured no. into anything, okay? No. It's a lot. No, look. And it's okay if you have to take some time to think about it. No. You'd miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Okay, so why not take the shot? No matter the consequences or outcome. Well, you're more optimistic than I am. Well, how about we start the date now? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how much my heart can take Trying to get by, but it's fake It's not like I would take you back Things would be the same Oh, I gotta give it to you, love You left your mark and I'm trying to be okay I now pronounce you two, husband and wife. Oh my. Wow. Can't believe I have a minister and my best bud all in one. Come here, dude. <laughs> I love you, buddy. I love you too. I just wish that we had more time, you know? But yeah, I guess it's worth it for love, you know? Hey. You got an angel looking out for you now. Yeah, I know. <laughs>